Hey, what up? Slappy here for Pixel Piracy. Is it worth it? A new series I'm starting up. This series is meant to give you a first look at a Steam early access game and just help you make the decision. Is it worth it? Is it worth your money? Is it worth your time? Is it worth it? Okay, so what is Pixel Piracy? Pixel Piracy is a roguelike game that is, to me reminds me of FTL Faster Than Light. Uh, if fans of that game are going to really like this game. This game is the same concept, same general gameplay options, but there's just more to the game. And obviously it's pirates versus a spaceship. So there is that. Okay, so I'm gonna just start off here, a new game. Uh, you have a few options as you start. Not a lot, but there really isn't a lot needed for this type of game. So, I'm going to go ahead and choose this character here, just based off the voice, and I'm going to arrive on an island. So, once you arrive on the island here, uh, your goal is to get a crew together, get a ship built, and some basic uh, resources to kind of go on your way. The controls take a little bit to get used to, but... For the most part, everything seems to work pretty well. Um, here, I'm not really sure what I'm doing at this point, so I go ahead and I attack this uh, creature on the land, and that doesn't work out so well for me. And I uh, have maybe the quickest game in the history of pixel piracy. But, take two, start it over, and uh, this time I get into the inn and get my crew going. There's a lot of uh, just character to a lot of the interactions. Uh, the sound is a little... Um, it, it's for, trying to go for a kind of a comedy style, but it does kind of wear on you after a while. So uh, that's kind of be a very personal preference thing. Uh, for me, it just kind of wore me out a little bit, but uh, you can turn that down and it's not so bad. So I go ahead and I choose one of the mercenaries that you can get one extra at the start. And then as you level, you get more slots available and you just build up your crew kind of as you go. Uh, you get some weapons to choose from. Uh, now as you go, you're gonna find a lot more unique weapons in the world. They're just some basic ones available at the beginning vendor. And then you're gonna need to get food. So you're gonna have to keep your self and your crew fed and uh, buying food or stealing food or however you acquire hunting food all those are ways to get food so in addition to that your crew is trainable and you can give them certain skills which are going to help them kind of throughout uh, your journey so some pretty cool starting things to get going um, once you get your crew set up, you want to just start making your ship. So it's got like a ship builder built into the game. Not really advanced, but uh, some basic things that you can customize it. Not a lot on your very first ship, but as you venture in to the game more, you, you do have quite a bit of customizable options and you can really kind of make it pretty cool. So. All right, so then you also have uh, inventory management in this. You have a lot of things that you will pick up. Uh, I've hardly played at this point, and uh, I'm finding several things uh, that can really kind of add some uniqueness to your crew. And it, it's there's a lot to it. Uh, this game has got a very deep amount of... Uh, customization to your crew and I think that's really the highlight of the game um, it, and it's really gonna add to the replayability of this uh, I think you're gonna find just a hundred ways to play this game and no way is the right way no way is the wrong way it's just what what you have and what works for you and what's fun so all right, so now you've got your ship, you've got a crew member. Now it's uh, time to set off 
and start exploring the lands, looking for loot, treasure, pirates, anything you can find. There's a variety of things to go after, from exploring islands to attacking other ships, attacking the pirates on those ships, and you can even, if you like their ship better than your current ship, you can steal their ship and take that over as your own. So if you're a fan of crew management games, turn-based games, side-scrolling games, I think there's a lot to appeal to you in this. Uh, the graphics, they're not good, they're not meant to be good, so if that's a sticking point for you, this game is definitely not going to be one that you're going to find worth your time, worth your money, Just not, it's not going to be worth it. So I would suggest passing on this one if you're a real uh, stickler for having up-to-date graphics but gameplay wise there's a lot to it there's a lot of depth to it and it really has the potential to give you good bang for your buck so at its current state i'm not seeing a lot of bugs it's very playable there's a lot of content in the game and you're going to really be able to sink some time in this it's it's a really good time sink and uh, it's I'd recommend this one. I've had a lot of fun playing it already, and it's there's going to be more to come on it as well. So, ultimately, the decision's up to you, of course, but I'd love to hear your feedback. Uh, if you do purchase it, please put, some, uh, put a comment in. Let me know what your experience is. See if this video was helpful in making your decision. If you find that this video was helpful, please go ahead and throw on a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Game on.